Hey guys, it's Melissa. Today we're going to be covering text basics and silhouettes. For this tutorial, you just need to open up your Silhouette Studio software and we're going to locate the text icon on the left hand side of the screen. Now with the cursor selected, we will just go ahead and come over here and type some text out. Okay, now after you have typed your text, you can click outside of this box and it has now become a cut file. Depending on where you move it around on your mat is where it will cut your vinyl whenever you load it into your machine. With your text selected, if you click any of these little white squares, it will actually make your file larger. These will make them taller. And the ones on the side will actually make it wider. If you do anything to your text that you'd like to undo, hit Control z or Command z to be taken back to the previous step. So once again, just use these boxes to resize exactly how you'd like your text to look. On the right hand side of your screen, you'll see you have the edit text options. Let's start with the text style. If you click in your text and hit, click anywhere in the text and hit Command A, you can come over here to font style and choose a font that's available from your system. Now this actually made my text much bigger, but once again, as I told you, you can just resize this to fit on your mat by dragging these boxes. And whenever we change the font to a cursive style or script style, you'll see if we zoom in here, that this will actually cut into the next letter. Let me zoom in just a little bit closer, you can see. The red is the cut line, so it will cut through this A and then it will cut around this S, so you'll end up with a gap missing. So make sure if you're using a script style or just make it a form of habit every time you do the text, right click and hit weld so that it will weld all of your letters together. And then Command G to group. And let's just go ahead and fill this with color so we can see it a little better as we continue to work on the different options in our text style box. Okay, so now we are just going to go in here and type another sentence. I love fonts. Um, okay, the next option we're going to play with is the justification. So when we select our text, if we do to the right, of course we have everything right justified. We can do it in center, full, left, however you want your text to look. You can play around with the justification. You can also adjust your text. Right now we have it in a horizontal format. If you click on vertical, it will actually turn the text to a vertical format as well. So depending on how you want it on your design, that's a quick way to move it back and forth between the two different types of styles. So let's just go ahead and go back to the horizontal format. And let's play around with the character spacing. Now this moves the characters closer to each other or further apart. So depending on the font, you may need them to move in a little bit closer or you may need them to be spaced out. Some of them already are a little bit too close. So just play around a little bit with the character spacing and also the line spacing as well. The same options, you can move them closer together or further apart depending on what you're trying to achieve whenever you're doing your design. Okay, so let's just take that line out just a little bit further. And then we're gonna go back up here to my name. Whenever you have went through and welded everything and grouped together, if you ungroup, you can take a particular letter and make it larger than the rest of the text. So if you really want to emphasize part of a name or part of a quote, you can just play around with the letter sizing of just that particular letter. So I've, of course, made both M's larger. Now if I grab the rest of Martini and hit Shift so I let go of Melissa and just move this over a bit and I will group it back together and then I'll take this one and group it back together. And you can see I still have the same kind of look, but the M's are a lot bolder and bigger, so they really stand out on the page whenever you look at this design. So once you're happy with all of your text and everything looks good, just go ahead and select it all and hit Command G to group it again, or you can right click and hit group or ungroup, whatever you're wanting to do. And then that's it. Lots of fun options for all your text projects. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching.